human beings are good at understanding reasoning and interpreting knowledge and using this knowledge they are able to perform various actions in the real world but how do machines perform the same in today's session we will learn about the knowledge representation in ai and how it helps the machines perform reasoning and interpretation using artificial intelligence okay before we begin the session let's look at the agenda first we will see what is knowledge representation then we will talk about the different types of knowledge and how they are represented and next we will see the cycle of knowledge representation in ai and once this is done we will see the relationship between knowledge and intelligence also we will discuss about the different techniques involved in knowledge representation and finally the different requirements and we will wrap it up with the examples and approaches for knowledge representation in ai before we get started don't forget to subscribe to our channel so what is knowledge representation in ai knowledge representation in ai describes the representation of any knowledge basically it is a study of how the beliefs intentions and judgments of an intelligent agent can be expressed suitably for automated reasoning one of the primary purposes of knowledge representation includes modeling intelligent behavior for an agent artificial intelligence as a technology has always fascinated human beings There have been multiple science fiction novels and movies where AI powered systems such as robots can think, act, understand complex information and make smart decisions based on it. What makes a human different from other animals and machines is our conscience. Scientists have often found it difficult to explain what a conscience is. And one can agree that it is the sum of our memories that is all the knowledge that we have gathered so far. And this knowledge makes different personalities and makes human behave differently and take different actions. For instance we are aware that touching a hot pan can burn our hands even before we touch them. And this is a human's mind's complex way of working and if we want to impart this complex knowledge into a machine we need to give more advanced information to AI which in turn resulted in the concept of knowledge representation in artificial intelligence. Knowledge representation and reasoning also known as KR or KRR represents the information from the real world for a computer to understand. and then utilize this knowledge to solve the complex real world problems like communicating with the human beings in natural language knowledge representation in ai is not just about storing data in database it allows a machine to learn from that knowledge and behave intelligently like a human being now there are different kinds of knowledge that need to be represented in ai such as objects events performance facts then we have meta knowledge and knowledge base numerous objects constantly surround humans and the information regarding these object is something that we can consider as a type of a knowledge for instance bus has wheels and a guitar has strings and next events our perception of the world is based on what we know regarding the various events that have taken place in our world and this knowledge is regarding all those events the wars of our minds achievements and advancement of societies are an example of this knowledge and next performance It deals with how humans and other beings and things perform certain actions in different situations. So it helps in understanding the behavior side of the knowledge. Meta knowledge is a knowledge about things that we are already aware of. And thus it is a knowledge of what we know. The reality of the actual world and what we stand for is a fact. Knowledge base is abbreviated as KB. This is the most significant part element of knowledge based agent. It refers to a set of information about any discipline or field. for example a knowledge based on road construction so these were the different kinds of knowledge that you need to represent and now that you know about the knowledge representation in ai and what is knowledge knowledge is awareness of familiarity gained by experiences of facts data and situations now let's move on and know about the different types of knowledge here now talking about the different types of knowledge there are five types now first we have declarative knowledge This includes concepts, facts and objects expressed in a declarative sentence. Therefore it deals with the description of things. Then we have structural knowledge. It is a basic problem solving knowledge that describes the relationship between concept and object. And next up we have procedural knowledge. This is responsible for knowing how to do something and includes rules, strategies, procedures, etc. The fourth one is meta knowledge. Now this defines the knowledge about other types of knowledge. And finally we have heuristic knowledge. Now this one represents some expert knowledge in the field or subject. So these were the five important types of knowledge in AI. Now let's see the cycle of knowledge representation and how it actually works. 
talking about the cycle of knowledge representation artificial intelligence systems usually consist of various components to display their intelligent behavior these components includes perception learning knowledge representation and reasoning and then we have planning and finally execution and here is an example to show the different components of the system and how it works and this diagram shows the interaction of ai system with the real world and the components involved in showing the intelligence so first of all the perception component retrieves the data or information from the environment with the help of this component you can retrieve data from the environment and find out the sources of noises and check if the ai was damaged by anything also it defines how to respond when any sense has been detected the next component is the learning component now this learns from the data captured by the perception component here the goal is to build the computers that can be taught instead of programming them now learning focuses on the process of self improvement in order to learn new things the system requires knowledge acquisition inference acquisition of heuristics faster searches etc now moving on to the next components which are the main components in the cycle that is the knowledge representation and reasoning the main components in the cycle that is knowledge representation and reasoning which shows the human like intelligence in the machines so the knowledge representation is all about understanding intelligence instead of trying to understand or build brain from bottom up its goal is to understand and build intelligent behavior from top down and focus on what an agent needs to know in order to behave intelligently also it defines how automated reasoning procedures can make this knowledge available as needed and finally we have the planning and execution now these components depend on the analysis of knowledge representation and reasoning here planning includes giving an initial state finding their preconditions and effects and a sequence of action to achieve a state in which a particular goal is attained now once the planning is completed the final stage is execution of the entire process so this was all about the cycle of knowledge representation in artificial intelligence now let's move on and understand the relationship between knowledge and intelligence so what is the relation between knowledge and intelligence in real world knowledge plays a vital role in intelligence as well as creating artificial intelligence it demonstrates the intelligent behavior in ai agents and systems now it is possible for an agent or a system to act accurately on some input only when it has the knowledge or experience about the input so here is an example to understand this relationship better in this example there is one decision maker whose actions are justified by sensing the environment and using knowledge but if we remove the knowledge part from here it will not be able to display any intelligent behavior now you know the relation between knowledge and intelligence let's move on to the techniques of knowledge representation in ai now talking about the techniques there are four techniques of representing knowledge these four techniques includes logical representation semantic network representation frame representation and production rules so talking about the first one logical representation is a language with some definite rules which deals with propositions and has no ambiguity in representation it represents a conclusion based on various conditions and lays down some important communication rules also it consists of precisely defined syntax and semantics which supports the sound inference each sentence can be translated into logic using syntax and semantics so what is the difference between syntax and semantics now for syntax it decides how we can construct legal sentences in logic also it determines which symbol we can use in knowledge representation also how to write those particular symbols but when it comes to semantics semantics are the rules by which we can interpret the sentence in the logic also it assigns a meaning to each of these sentences so let's talk about some advantages and disadvantages of this representation now logical representation helps to perform logical reasoning this representation is also the basis for programming languages now talking about the disadvantages of logical representation it have some restrictions and are challenging to work with and this technique may not be very natural and inference may not be very efficient now talking about the next technique we have semantic network representation now when semantic networks you can represent your knowledge in the form of graphical networks this network consists of nodes representing the objects and arcs which describe the relationship between these objects also it categorizes the objects in different forms and link those objects now the representation consists of two types of relation the first one is is a relationship which is also known as inheritance and then we have kind of relation now talking about the advantages semantic networks are natural representation of knowledge it also conveys meaning in a transparent manner and these networks are simple and very easy to understand 
Now talking about the disadvantages, semantic networks take more computational time at runtime. Also these are inadequate as they do not have any equivalent quantifiers. And these networks are not intelligent and depend on the creator of the system. So this was about the semantic network representation. Now let's move on to the next one which is frame representation. Now frame is a record-like structure that consists of collection of attributes and values to describe an entity in the world. These are the AI data structures that divides knowledge into substructures by representing stereotype situations. Basically, it consists of collection of slots and slot values of any type and size. Slots have names and values which are called as facets. Moving on to the advantages, it makes programming easier by grouping the related data. Frame representation is easy to understand and visualize. Also, it is very easy to add slots for new attributes and relations. And it is easy to include default data and search for missing values. Talking about the disadvantages, in frame system inference, the mechanism cannot be easily processed. The inference mechanism cannot be smoothly processed by frame representation either. Also, it has a very generalized approach. Now moving on to the final technique, we have production rules. In production rules, agent check for the condition and if the condition exists, then the production rule fires and corresponding action is carried out. The condition part of the rule determines which rule may be applied to a problem, whereas the action part carries out the associated problem solving steps. Now this complete process is called recognize act cycle. The production rule system consists of three main parts. The first one is definitely the set of production rules. Then we have working memory and finally the recognize act cycle. Now talking about the advantages and disadvantages. First up the advantages where the production rules are expressed in natural language and the production rules are highly modular and can be easily removed or modified. Talking about the disadvantages, it does not exhibit any learning capabilities and does not store the result of the problem for future users. Now during the execution of the program, many rules may be active. Thus the rule based production systems are inefficient. So these were the four important techniques for knowledge representation in AI. Now let's have a look at the requirements for these representations. A good knowledge representation system must have the properties such as representational accuracy, inferential adequacy, then inferential efficiency and acquisitional efficiency. So talking about the representational accuracy, it should represent all kinds of required knowledge. Also it must have inferential adequacy. That is it should be able to manipulate the representational structure to produce the new knowledge corresponding to the existing structure. Then inferential efficiency which is the ability to direct the inferential knowledge mechanism into the most productive directions by storing appropriate guides. And finally, the acquisitional efficiency. It is the ability to acquire new knowledge easily using automatic methods. So these are some of the important requirements for knowledge representation in AI. Now let's understand some of the approaches of this knowledge representation with example. There are different approaches to knowledge representation such as simple relational knowledge, inheritable knowledge, inferential knowledge, and procedural knowledge. So the first approach is simple relational knowledge. Now this is the simplest way of storing facts which uses the relational method. Here all the facts about the set of objects are set out systematically in columns. Also this approach of knowledge representation is famous in database systems where relationship between different entities is represented. Now taking an example you can see that we have three different columns like name, age and employee ID. And we have three different names along with their age and employee IDs. So this is how you represent a simple relational knowledge. And this is the simplest way of defining. You just have to take the name, age and employee ID and define the relation. Moving on to the next approach, we have inheritable knowledge. In the inheritable knowledge approach, all data must be stored in a hierarchy of classes and should be arranged in a generalized form or in a hierarchical manner. Also, this approach contains inheritable knowledge which shows a relationship between instance and class. And that is called the instance relation. Now, in this approach, objects and values are represented in boxed nodes. So, here you can see the example where we have two different players, Danny and Peter, who plays different games such as cricket and football. But they both are known as players and they both play for the under-19 teams. So, you can see the relationship here for Danny cricket and Peter football, it is an instance. But when you compare the relationship of cricket football with the player and under the 19, it is a, it's a relationship which is also the inheritance. And next we have inferential knowledge. The inferential knowledge approach represents knowledge in the form of formal logic. Thus it can be used to derive more facts. Also it guarantees correctness. 
Take an example, we have the first statement which is John is a cricketer and then we have another statement which says all cricketer or athletes. So we can also represent this as cricketer who is John and give the relationship as cricketers or athletes. So here you are checking out the relationship between John, cricketer and athletes. Also this helps you and guarantees correctness in your relationship. And the final approach is procedural knowledge. The procedural knowledge approach uses small programs and course which describes how to do specific things and how to proceed. The most important rule used in this approach is if then rule. In this knowledge we can use various coding languages such as Lisp and Prolog. So using this approach you can easily represent heuristic or domain specific knowledge. In artificial intelligence the procedural knowledge is a knowledge retained by an intelligent entity. A well known example for this is the procedural reasoning system or PRS. In this case a mobile robot is given a specific instruction on navigation or actionable steps about pathways. These were some of the approaches to knowledge representation in AI along with examples. So with this we have come to the end of the session. Thank you so much for watching.